What is the crack lads and welcome back to episode 2 of our best players per position for all budget series. Today we're going to be taking a look at left backs. So obviously there's a lot of decent players that you can buy for any price point in Dream Team 2022. But there's also a couple of hidden gems and a couple of budget bargain buys that you can get as well. So we're going to be taking a quick look at a couple for all the price ranges. As you can see here, we're just taking a quick look at who my favorite player is at left back Nuno. We'll get to him in a bit. But yeah, these are the price ranges. So from 0 to 5, 5 to 10, 10 to 50, 50 to 100, 100 to 300, and 300 to 600, which there are no defenders left back for that higher price point. So we'll be throwing in an extra pick here as well. So first up, we've got Diallo, right? Again, as of all these guys at this price range, 3,500 or 3,600 GP, he's not going to be setting the, the, the world on fire. I've said this before, when you're going for the budget squad and the budget players, you're not going to be getting massive stats, right? If you can get any stat over 70, it's a huge bonus for guys that are under 5,000 GP. But what you're going to want to look at is a, a range of stats or a variety of stats in these budget players that are in the mid to high 60s. Because what you can do then is with training, when you start to get up the levels, you will be able to see them outperform players that are like starting off at like 75 rated. They'll be able to match them and even excel above them in certain situations. Next up, we've got Haps. Okay, so this guy, legend of a name, R Haps, sounds like a rapper. But Venezia is the team he plays for, right? He's 20, 28 years old. He's got nice height for a left back. He has actually pretty decent defensive engagement and awareness. Uh, tight possession, dribbling, 67. He's got speeding bullet. He's got 75 speed, 77 acceleration, 72 stamina. So he's going to be like the energetic bunny. And it's, it's, uh, it's, it's a nice option to have that he can play CMF and he can also play left wing, left mid, left back. He's going to excel in any of those positions. So you can change formation on the fly. And again, you're going to be getting him for about 10,000 GP. So he falls right into that budget between five and 10,000 GP of the filter. Now this guy, Paulo Octavio, he is a guy that I have been keeping an eye on for quite a while to see if anyone is buying him, see if anyone is coming up against him. He seems to be a very, very, very decent hidden gem. There's something about him, right? He's 20,000 GP, so he's double the price of Haps. But if you look at his speed there, 82 and 80 acceleration, backed up by balance 74, 70 tight possession, and 74 stamina. He's a ball player. He's a beast on the ball. One touch pass player skill, double touch. Uh, you know, having a left back with double touch on overlaps is massive, massive, massive as you go up the levels and you start playing against really good guys. But this guy's also got, you know, one touch pass, true passing, fighting spirit. I think he's a guy to really keep an eye on. Now, my pick for best left back if you were building a mid to just on the cusp of a team that's a god squad, I think is Nuno Mendes from PSG. He's 19 years old, so if you've got a young coach that gets boots to, to you know, a young uh, player's experience points, such as Arteta, Southgate, whoever, this guy is the real deal, right? He starts off at his base, 82 pace, 80 or 79 acceleration, 82 speed, right? He's able to get up and down the pitch. He can play CB, he can play left back, he can play left mid. Um, he's got really nice playing style of speeding bullet and early crosser. He's got a couple of player skills as well, which you can check out. His ball control is good, his dribbling is good. All his main stats when you train him up are going to go mid, mid 80s. So he's an absolute unit. Mendy. Up next, we've got Mendy. So Mendy is obviously playing for Real Madrid. Obviously, he's been overshadowed a little bit because I think he falls in that little little weird kind of position of he's not, you know, he's not around 100,000. He's not around, you know, 40,000. He's kind of in that no man's land between that if you were either going to go all in for a left back and really solidify that position, or you're going to go cheap if you've got no GP. He falls into 76,000 GP, but I really like this player. I think I am going to end up buying him and seeing how he develops alongside Nuno Mendes. I don't think he'll outperform Nuno Mendes for me, to be fair. Um, he's not as good on the ball, and you know he doesn't seem to have any major advantage over Nuno Mendes. But from talking to people that have played with him, they've said that he's an absolute beast, that the stats kind of tell a lie, that he is actually a unit. He's an offensive fullback, speeding bullet, early crosser, and he's got 80 speed, 80 acceleration, 80 stamina, as well as 76 defensive engagement. That's all you need. Now, next up is the creme de la crop, Davies, right? Davies, in my opinion, 
is the best left back in the game currently and I think he'll be the left best left back for the foreseeable um, unless they start to boost up certain players and obviously you know you'll have featured editions of Robertson and featured editions of Jordi Alba and featured editions of Nuno Mendes and all them guys that will probably outperform Davies but for now I think you cannot go wrong I mean look at his player skills he's got speeding bullet he's got all those as his player ID and his player AI but the player skills, double touch, flip flap. He can play right wing, left wing, attack in mid, left mid, left back. I mean, this guy can do it all. Now, defensive engagement is low. It's 58, right? And we're going to have a quick look at Robertson next, who is 30,000 more in the GP. So you're going to be paying 30,000 more for Robertson from Liverpool. But I think Davies will come back to him in a second. But I think he's an absolute beast. Now, Robertson, right? In the last episode, episode one, we had the same kind of thing with Donnarumma being, I thought, the best goalkeeper who was 390,000. And then you had Oblak, 690,000. The jump isn't as high or isn't as big. And the gap between Davies and Robertson isn't as, as big. But Robertson offers a completely different play style than Davies, right? Davies is all, you know, power and pace, speed, quick counter, playing out wide, touch and go. Robertson is more of kind of like a ball playing, you know, crossing... Uh, left back who can attack on the wing you know who can actually give in the final ball instead of passing to your winger or a left mid depending on your formation like if you're playing a 3-5-2 Robertson will be absolutely beautiful on the left if you're also playing a 4-4-2 deep you could play him as a really you know attacking kind of option on the overlap and when you go in here to eFootballDB the player database we're going to take a look at Robertson here I mean he's got really nice stats I'm not overshadowed by or overshadowing his stats right if you go in here we flip the card and we go and have a look at his player skills. We've already seen that man mark and captaincy. You know, he is a real good addition to the squad. But that pace, 79 pace overall combined between spe speed and acceleration. How does it stack up to Davies, right? Now, we can already see that there will be a legend card of Davies coming or an iconic moment card, um, which will be better than his base card, obviously. But if you go in here to the base stats, you know, Robertson is 81, Davies is 80. I just don't see the... I just don't see the... Um, you know, I don't see the difference in the players that it's going like it's going to take it's going to take a big, big thing to pump Davies like ahead of or to put Robertson ahead of Davies. And I think that there's a couple of reasons for that. Right. Even though, you know, these player levels and stuff aren't 100 percent accurate because you can, you know, player progress yourself manually and do it uniquely. I just think Davies is just head and shoulders above him for what you need in a left back, you know, tight dribbling, you know, bombing up and down the left wing. And I think that's all you do need at the moment, you know, unless you're a very, very, very conservative possession player that doesn't use his left and right backs to attack every now and again. Um, I think you're cutting off a lot of your attacking prowess by not bringing your left and right back in. So, yeah, that is it for the left backs, lads. I will talk to you later. We'll be back with the right backs next or maybe the center backs to mix things up. And we'll have 10 players to go through with there. But, yeah, I hope you're enjoying the series. And I hope you have any or if you have any suggestions for me get below get in touch in the comments below i can't barely speak i don't know what's wrong with me but uh yeah that's it lads i will talk to you in a bit peace